Yo, should you guys go buy an old school vintage handy cam in 2021? Ooh. 100% absolutely yes go buy one what's going on guys man and welcome back to another video i'm not gonna lie to y'all this is like my third time recording this portion of the video because there's a video out about this from zach mayfield on the kino tika channel this new digital 8 recording format gave us the ability to get that pristine look <laughs> of mini dv with the ease of use the accessibility of eight millimeter tapes. Now kids, this right here was the future. So let's talk about the specs. I've watched that video so many times, I'm not being myself. So this is my third time. I'm going to do this how I want to do it, not how it's already been done. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Here's how you can relive a good time over and over again. Just aim, focus. Snap. I'd like to show you one of the world's great cameras. The footage that you guys saw in the intro of this video was all shot on the Sony TRV 510 Digital 8 Handycam. That's a lot of words to say for one camera. That was all shot on this vintage old school digital 8 Handycam that records to these high 8 tapes. I picked that up on eBay for around 100 25 30 bucks not very expensive at all i have a future project coming up so i wanted to pick one of these up just to give off that nostalgic old school vintage look right out of camera instead of using effects and stuff in post i can rather just have it straight out of camera already good to go super authentic and it just looks it looks good i like the way it looks so i got one and i actually bought two of these cameras the first one should have been working fine but after the second day of me using it 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 just stopped working and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it stopped working, but I looked at some videos online and they said that you should try to use a eight millimeter head cleaner, which should fix the problem that I was having. But when I bought the head cleaner, the stuff that I got, is supposed to come with a tape and some fluid. The fluid box was empty. So I couldn't even use it. I got gypped twice on eBay. Gotcha, bitch. So be cautious of what you buy and who you buy from from eBay. And I already knew that, but I was hoping that wasn't going to be any kind of issue with buying these cameras or the fluid stuff, the head cleaner. But yeah, I got got twice. Gotcha, bitch. But third time's the charm. The Sony camera I got, the 510, it works completely fine. And like I said, that was the camera that was used for the intro footage for this video. I want to be honest with you guys. This is like almost the perfect vlog setup. It really is because your thumb is literally right beside the record button. Having that LCD screen that flips all the way around for you to view yourself is like super clutch. And then having the ability or the option to attach a mic to the top and plug it into an audio jack, you just get like some super good quality audio. And I end up plugging in my Rode Video Mic Pro Plus to compare the audio that was in body and from the microphone itself. Flash in the past. We traveled back to 2001. <laughs> brought the DSLR with us, you know what I'm saying? Boy, yeah. Yo. They ain't know what the hell that dance was yet, but you know, <laughs> they gonna know. Hell yeah. Well, it's kind of cold in this bitch, but you know, they ain't gonna stop the action, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let me throw the mic on and see how the mic sound, how the in body audio sounds compared to the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. So. Yeah. All right. Is it recording? Yep. Yeah. All right, so this is a test of the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Hopefully it's a difference. It might not be a difference, but I'm assuming it will be. But yeah, on Sundays we shoot, man. It's my dog, my brother. Love this man like he's my own blood. Hey, 100, bro. Man. 100, yeah. bro. 100. On Sundays we shoot, dog. I know yeah. what time it is. And I already knew it was going to sound good with my microphone attached to it. But honestly, guys, just the regular in-body audio, it sounded just as good in my opinion. The battery life of the Sony MPF 970 
while using this camera. I kid you not, you get over 700 minutes on a fully charged MPF 970 battery. I thought that shit was like the coolest shit ever. The LCD screen, the menu system, the color viewfinder, the ergonomics of this camera makes this so easy to use. And I honestly just picked it up, put the tapes in and that was pretty much it, man. It was pretty straightforward to figure it out. This is the first time that I've ever used one of these cameras before ever in my life. And like I said, the ease of use, man, it's very easy to pick up and just start recording. It's that easy. And I think having that authentic old school digital look right out of camera just looks so much better. And that's kind of the same with like added film grains and stuff to your footage compared to shooting with an actual film camera. The two are similar, but very different at the same time. When it comes to converting the footage from my camera, the digital A camera to my computer, it's really a simple process. All you have to do is go buy an analog video converter. I bought mine from Amazon for like 20 bucks, very cheap. And then if you want to shoot in the 16 by nine aspect ratio, I didn't shoot in that because I wanted to have the black bars on the side. But if you wanted to fill modern day screens, make sure you shoot in the 16 by nine. Because if you don't and try to conform that footage later in post, it's going to like stretch it out and make it look super weird. So if you wanted to fit modern day screens, make sure you shoot in the 16 by nine aspect ratio. Next up is going to obviously be to shoot your footage or whatever that you want to record on the actual Handycam. After that, rewind your tapes to the very beginning. Plug in those connector cables from your camera to your computer, minus the component cables and then and going into USB onto my iMac. Very, very simple process. Plug it into your camera and then plug it into your computer. Now, since I do have a Mac, I'm only going to talk about the steps for Mac users. If you do have a PC or anything like that, just Google it. Because <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what the steps for that is. But for my Mac users like myself, all you have to do is open up QuickTime, go to File, New Movie Recording, select USB Converter as your device or whatever you know, that you have plugged into that. Make sure you have audio signal, hit record, and then leave your camera and computer alone until the tape plays all the way through. Save the video, and then after that, you wanna upload it to Premiere. Right click the footage, interpret the footage, and then choose the 16 by nine aspect ratio if you already shot in 16 by nine within the camera itself. If not, it's gonna stretch it out, look weird. So if you want the black bars on the side, then just shoot with the regular format of the camera. If not, make sure you are shooting in the 16 by nine aspect ratio in the camera because if not it's going to look weird so make sure you do that that is pretty much it guys that is how you get your footage from your digital a camera to your computer damn my battery is about to die my battery is about to die and i'm not trying to put another battery in so with that being said if you guys enjoyed this video or found that to be informational to you hit that like button everything's going to be linked down in the description that i talked about and i will see you guys very soon within my next video. I'm out guys, peace.